Writer-producer Norman Lear and Helen Hernandez, then VP of Public Affairs for Lear's production company, were aware of this lack of Latino representation in Hollywood and decided to take action. Together, they met with leaders of the National Conference of Christians and Jews, now the National Conference for Community and Justice, a respected human relations organization committed to fighting bias and promoting interracial understanding. From this fateful meeting back in 1983, the Imagen Awards were born. In 1985, with Luis Avalos as MC, Imagen celebrated its first annual awards luncheon at the Beverly Hilton and recognized NBC, Hill Street Blues, and Gregory Nava's epic film El Norte for creative work that conveyed a realistic portrayal of the Latino experience in the U.S. Two years later, Imagen took a firm stand against the industry's failure to offer a larger diversity of roles to Latino actors. The third annual Imagen ceremony only saw one award presented to actor Jimmy Smits for his work in the primetime drama L.A. Law. By 1988, Imagen presented its first Creative Achievement Award to Edward James Olmos for his memorable portrayal of real-life teacher Jaime Escalante in Stand and Deliver. The film earned Edward James Olmos an Oscar nomination and made a powerful statement about the limitless capabilities of Latino students inside the classroom. Imagen also recognized the Milagro Beanfield War and La Bamba, which became the highest grossing Latino film of its time. With $56.2 million after just 12 weeks, La Bamba caused film studios to take notice of the vast profit opportunity represented by the Latino market.